In southern France, in the district of Provence, is a town named Arles. The church of saint Trophime in Arles is one of Provence's major Romanesque monuments. It is most renowned for its portal facade and cloister with their intricate carvings. The church of saint Trophime is also one of the many starting points for the pilgrimage across Europe to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, Spain. The Spanish cathedral is believed to be the resting place of St. James, and the pilgrimage is only one of three routes to receive plenary indulgence in the Catholic Church. This route has been used by pilgrims for over a thousand years. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with Arles' other great monuments in 1981, the basilica underwent extensive restoration of its elaborate portal between 1988 and 1995. The portal of the church depicts the Apocalypse, according to St. John, and the Gospel of St. Matthew. Christ is sitting in the tympanum with symbols of the evangelists around him, an angel for St. Matthew, a lion for St. Mark, a bull for St. Luke, and an eagle for St. John. Other decorations for the Basilica portal include biblical scenes, such as Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden. Several saints connected with Arles are also depicted around the portal. Architecturally, saint Trophime's cloister is important because it manifests the transition between two great architectural styles, Romanesque and Gothic. The north and east galleries are Romanesque and were built between 1150 and 1225 CE. They have the typical Romanesque features, such as barrel vaulted ceilings and semicircular arches. The figure of Saint Trophime is found on the first corner pillar of the northern gallery, and he resides between Saint Peter and Saint John. The column capitals of the Romanesque galleries depict the Old and New Testament, the Passion and the Life of Christ. The southern and eastern galleries were built in the 1380s and 1390s. They are Gothic in style, with pointed arches and intersecting vaults that rest on colonnettes with foliated capitals. The column capitals in the Gothic galleries depict the life of Saint Trophime, various religious figures, and biblical scenes popular within Provence. However, the cloister too is suffering extensive damage, particularly from rainwater. The water causes erosion of the carved column capitals and cracking and weathering of the roof tiles. Additionally, pollution turns the stone works black with soot. A new phase of restoration is now taking place to save the remarkable masterpiece that is the cloister. In May 2009, a team of specialists met with World Monuments Fund, local authorities, and SciArc to conduct the first stages of a digital preservation project. The focus was the cloister. In total, 1.9 billion data points were gathered by the 3D scanner. The data photo textured with nearly 30 high-resolution digital panoramic images. These created photorealistic 3D renderings. This data is now being used to create online virtual tours, measurable 3D content, and traditional 2D drawings of the monument. These deliverables are for education, dissemination, and to help the conservation specialists with their daunting task of preserving the fragile yet masterful architectural work. saint Trophime's masterpieces, its history, and its seat is one of the starting points for the historic Catholic pilgrimage known as the Route of St. James make it an important addition to the SciArc Archive.